Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Tori if you're new here and today I am going to be showing you a grocery haul and meal plan. But what's different is I am planning on spending $50 for a family of four breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I was unsure if I could do this, but I thought outside of the box and I really got down to it. I had three goals in mind and obviously one of those goals was to stay under the budget. Secondly, I wanted it to be semi-healthy. And thirdly, I wanted it to be plant-based and the standard American diet. So I got a whole bunch of things. Um, I went on my app and ordered it and I'm going to go pick it up. And then when I get back, I will show you what we're working with. So things to keep in mind, obviously this won't work for every family. We all have different dietary needs. Name brand food isn't always the best. <laughs> And you really have to factor in eating the same thing a couple of times a week. It doesn't all have to be different. If you're new here, we would love it if you hit that subscribe button. We make videos four to five times a week all about life here in Northern Colorado on a budget. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and let's jump right into the grocery haul. All right, there's a slight change of plans. I um, mixed something up, so I'm just gonna go and get the groceries and um, I will bring it back and show you what I got. Um, I'm going to try my best here to get the exact same prices when um, this is what happened. I ordered from the wrong location basically and um, noticed it halfway and had to refund by the time my husband got home. We're just all going to go together and I will show you. I'm going to try and keep it under 50. We shall see what happens. All right, we are back. I am proud to say we made it at 48 94. I'm going to type out the prices of each item when I go through it, but I really didn't think I was going to um, make it, but I did, so I'm excited. So I'm going to get right into this, and then I will show you the meal plan of what I plan to put together and what ingredients you'll need. So over here, five pound bag of russet potatoes. We have some firm tofu, two bags of frozen corn, we have some andouille smoked sausage. I kept finding some that were um, pork, chicken, and beef. I was trying my best to find some with just pork in it. Um, this has the beef collagen casing, um, corn syrup in there. there. I mean, there's a sodium nitrate. I mean, there's a bunch of stuff in here, natural flavor, sorry. Um, but the, I, I feel like this is the best one when it comes to a sausage ring. The sausage links were just a little bit out of the price range. So, you know, you gotta take what you can get in these challenges. And I think we make up for this with other items. So you give and you get a little, right? We have active dry yeast. We have two frozen broccolis, one bag of carrots, we have spaghetti, some chicken leg quarters. We have some pinto beans, some reduced sodium real bacon pieces. We have some wild Alaskan pink salmon, two cans of chickpeas, one can of diced tomatoes with green chilies, one bag of flour, 18 count of eggs, two pounds of long grain rice, two bell peppers, one thing of cream cheese, one onion. I have a bunch of bananas. I have some barbecue sauce. I have some organic quick cook steel cut oats and I have some soy sauce. And that was the haul for the week. Again, we are trying three meals a day for seven days for four people. So we shall see how this goes. Let me show you the meal plan and what I plan to do with these items. If I don't say something that you're thinking of, please drop that in the comments if you have time because that could be useful for someone else. Okay, I'm outside now. I was trying to just grab some extra light and some peace and quiet so I can share this meal plan with you. Um, I did want to say two things. With these types of videos, it um, attracts different people just because it's a more popular video on my channel, people that are not subscribed. So go ahead and check out some of my videos if you're new here, um, just to get a little bit of a gist of who we are and how we do things um, on the channel specifically, because sometimes I can take 
take things pretty personally and um, when people make comments they're not doing it in the most kind way we shall say um, and if you are new here I was an elementary art teacher so um, I had a lot of experience with kids just um, teaching them to have manners. I was raised to always choose my words wisely and in a kind way. So with that being said, please, if you're commenting, please try and use some sort of kindness. Um, and then secondly, if you are ever experiencing any food insecurity in your home, please dial your local 211. And if you're not comfortable doing that, email me and I will do what I can to help you in your area. I usually say that in the beginning, I totally forgot, but with these budgeting tips and meals and things like that, I know a lot of us are struggling, especially now with inflation and all of that. So without further ado, I'm gonna get you turned around and I will show you the meal plan. All right, this might be my best meal plan yet, but um, $50 meal plan, $48.94 at Walmart. We have breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and we are utilizing leftovers in this um, meal plan. Not my husband's favorite, but we are gonna do it anyways. Um, banana pancakes for breakfast. You can use flour or oat flour or just regular oats. Banana for sweetness and a thickener, and then just Thin it out a little bit with water, fry it up like a regular pancake, and you're good to go. We also have hash browns and toast. So with the hash browns, I have potatoes, onions, and pepper. And then for the toast, you are gonna be making your own homemade bread. Of course, you can buy loaves if you wanted to. I enjoy making my own bread because I can control the ingredients and it's fun to do with the kids. But if you don't wanna do that, you do not have to. And then we have breakfast sandwiches. So that homemade bread's gonna come into play here. You could do um, an English muffin or just like a regular roll if you wanted to, but I'm just gonna make three loaves of bread, maybe two, I'm not sure yet. And with the breakfast sandwiches, we are doing egg, bacon, and cream cheese on one half, and then the other half will be tofu, bell pepper, and onion for myself. And then moving on to lunch, we have quite the spread here, but um, we'll just start on the top. We have potato salad with salmon fritters. So salmon fritters are just like my tuna cake recipe. Basically everything shredded up, including the salmon, add just maybe two tablespoons of flour, and then you are going to fry or bake those. And then for the potato salad, that is just gonna be pretty simple to be honest with you. I do have dill in the garden that's not really included in the plan here, but you can buy dill and grow it in your windowsill. I suggest doing that because it yields a lot more than your typical packs in the grocery store. So that's gonna be really easy. I plan to make a mayo out of um, the chickpea liquid and a little bit of oil and maybe a splash of lemon juice. And you can use that for the potato salad or you could just get some mayo packets or some sort of condiment that you like. Mustard is gonna be more cost effective, but a lot of people don't like the mustard based um, potato salad. So it's really up to you. You can get creative there. We have broccoli soup. I've made this on the channel before, but it is my plant-based version. For the standard American diet, just add a little bit of cream cheese in there and potatoes. You are going to just have your broccoli, carrots, onions, cream cheese, potatoes, and then water, salt, and pepper. And you can blend like half of that to make the soup thicker. And that just tastes so good, honestly. It's a really tasty soup. I suggest that you try it. Next up is gonna be chickpea and chicken salad. So on my side, it's gonna be chickpeas. On my husband's side, I'm just gonna do that big thing of chicken in the crock pot and then pull it apart and use some of it for salads for the week. We're gonna do the chickpea mayo with mine, onion, bell pepper, and then for the vessel that you can serve it in, you could do the homemade bread or you could go the route of tortillas or homemade crackers. Um, and then for my husband's and the kids, we're gonna do chicken with cream cheese as the base. If you've never tried that, that's really tasty. And then over here, we also have a chilled noodle salad. So we have noodles, onion, carrot, pepper. We have soy sauce, and then we have some pinto beans to put in there. And then I will tell you all about those pinto beans in the dinner portion. 
Moving on to dinner, we have quite the spread. We have a fried rice night. You could use eggs with that, but we are gonna do the rice, leftover veggies, soy sauce, and then some salmon fritters because I know we'll have a lot left over with that big can. And then over here, we're gonna do barbecue tofu and some chicken with pierogies. And that's gonna be used with some mashed potatoes, cream cheese for everybody else, some onion. It's just gonna be super tasty. I make pierogies all the time on the channel, so check out my recipe playlist if you have not already. And then over here we have corn chowder and that will go in a bread bowl. So you're making the bread bowls if you'd like or you could serve it with crackers or tortillas. And then the corn chowder is essentially the exact same thing as the broccoli soup, but you're just adding corn and taking out the broccoli. You're gonna blend it together and make it thick. And then you can add some cumin in there or sometimes I add curry powder, but you could do really whatever you want there. So there is one difference. You do add bell pepper to corn chowder for me, but it's up to you. You could also add some chicken in there. You are gonna have a lot from those thighs that we are gonna cook in the crock pot. So that's an option. Over here, we have loaded baked potatoes, and then on the baked potato, we're gonna do some leftover broccoli soup, and then we'll put some bacon crumbles on for everybody else. Over here, we have some gnocchi with cream sauce and some shredded chicken. And then over here is gonna be some salsa rice. So what we're gonna do is blend together those tomatoes with green chilies and some onion. And we're gonna put that in the food processor so it becomes a salsa consistency. You're gonna mix that with your rice and then you are gonna make some pinto beans in the crock pot. I make that all the time on the channel. So check out those recipes and then Optionally, you could do tacos. So you could take the leftover tofu, crumble it up and make it into some sort of taco meat. And then the family can have some sausage with that, the andouille sausage, which we are gonna sprinkle into different recipes in the plan itself, but we don't really have a designated idea for the sausage. So that could be used for tacos here. And then the rest of your leftovers could honestly just go right in those tortillas. It's super simple. So I hope you enjoyed this one. There are so many options, honestly. You can do your own meal plan here with your own dietary restrictions, but I think that this is a great base um, to work with. And if you have any questions, please let me know in the comment box down below. Alrighty, everyone, that is gonna do it for today's video. Don't forget to check out the description box. I put a little surprise in there for everybody. As always, stay adventurous, stay creative. I hope this gave you some inspiration to shop on the cheap for your family. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment box down below, and I'll see you next time. Bye, everyone.